Okay, welcome back everyone. Um, today we're talking about YouTuber relevancy. Uh, I feel like a, a major fear that a lot of YouTubers have, including me, is kind of being forgotten, you know? Um, because, you know, views are always fluctuating, stuff like that always happens, and at some point you're kind of like, okay, there's gonna be a day where I essentially have no viewers or something, and then I will essentially be forgotten, like one of them old YouTubers, right? And honestly, just being real, no matter what kind of a YouTuber you are, you, you don't want that, because, you know, the entire time you're on the platform, it's all about, like, you know, having more views, having more relevancy, having people talk about you, and uh, even though that, that may not be like your calling or whatever, like for me, obviously I don't make videos to get as many views as possible. I make videos because I enjoy them and I love entertaining people, but sometimes, you know, you gotta get as many views as possible because the people who are being entertained, they get bored of it and then you need to find new people. This is also part of the reason why being and recommended is so important because even, even YouTubers with 20 million subs, they only get 1 million views. Why, why is that the case? Because 19 million people got bored of them, okay? Nobody is, like, immune to it. PewDiePie, super entertaining guy. He's got so much variety of content. But out of 100, 100 and what, 8 million? 1 million to 5 million people watch him every, every time he uploads. That's that's 95 million who literally just forgotten about him. And, and you may be like, oh, it's different people each time. But m most of the time, like 90% uh, uh, of the videos, the same people are showing up. So pretty much for your channel to stay alive, you, you need to be in recommended, constantly getting new subscribers because the old ones are going to get bored. They never press, nobody, nobody, like everybody forgets to press on subscribe. You've probably gone through your subscription box and seen like, 25,000 people who you don't watch at all, um, unless you regularly go and unsub from people, which I, I, I kind of do because I don't want to leave them with dead subscribers, okay? I'm not that cruel. By the way, if you're not watching someone, please unsubscribe because you're actually destroying their channel, you know? Because <laughs> pretty much YouTube looks at that and they're like, oh, you're subscribed and you're not watching? Wow, this guy must actually suck. But yeah, recently I've just been thinking, like, uh, each time you try to dream, right people would just kind of spit in your face they'll be like oh yeah but reality oh yeah but this you know it's like I, I was always like, okay, I want to be making videos in another 10 years and still, and still, you know, entertaining people and stuff and loving what I do. I don't know what type of content I'll make, but surely it will be something fun, right? In, in 10 years. And then, uh, and then there's like so many people telling me like, no, you'll probably be irrelevant in like two or three years. The lifespan of a YouTuber is normally not that long. Like we're not around here for like 20, 30 years or something, but that's what I want to be. And everyone's like, oh dude, that, that's completely impossible like you're you're just gonna die out soon any i mean my child is practically dead for a lot of people anyways but like most people they can't they just quit you know but because they probably just don't enjoy what they do also some people quit because they're they may not be making enough money or you know they need to attend to real life situations a lot of stuff like that or maybe they made enough money and they're just retired you know but yeah i really hate how people i like i understand why people do it they're like oh you have to be realistic and stuff but i i've i've been i'm so tired of hearing realism my entire life like according to their like realism I would never even get the subs I have in the first place because it's like if you do the statistics and whatever it's pretty astronomically impossible right even to get the little bit of success that I have right and it's like I was like, where was your realism then? And then you, you, I know people will argue like, oh, you got really lucky, which, okay, I did. But, you know, I also worked hard and all that. But, uh, you know, I feel like you can bend your luck to your whim. I mean, I, I know it could have all gone south and I could never have had this in the first place. But I feel like if you work hard and you really, really believe, you know, I don't want to be all cheesy, but I, I feel like there is a message to that. If you really, really believe and you're chasing something your entire life with all your passion, like I spend... 24 7 just thinking about youtube and making videos and that's why i think i got some level of success it may just go away because you know maybe i'm just not good <laughs> like you could love something all you want but maybe if you're not good at it i, I don't even show my face so i'm kind of scared of that like okay i barely watch non-face cam youtubers so yeah my prospect for growth is just pretty shit and uh 
yeah, I just gotta wait. I just either gotta reveal my face completely. I don't know, man. It's it's just so many like thoughts and worries in my head. It's scary, you know, <laughs> because you're kind of on your own. You don't have like any job security. Like you, you like you know, YouTube could just demonetize you any day, kick you out of here. People could forget about you. You could get striked by some psychopath. Like, dude, there's so many things that could go wrong. You could just get hacked and you're done. Um, there's so many things that could go wrong, and it's like. I know stuff can go wrong in IRL as well. You can get fired, but it's like, I mean, when, when everybody's doing the same thing around you, you kind of feel safe, right? Because if you're in a class with 30 other students, you kind of feel like, okay, yeah, we're fine. You know, we're, we're all doing the same thing. We're spending our time the same way. We're, we're all going, getting different jobs or whatever. It feels feel secure, you know, like, hey, I'm doing everything what other people are doing. And I know other people do YouTube as well, but, you know, it's very, very little. Honestly, this video doesn't really have a message or anything. It's just me kind of being worried about myself. I don't know, man. Uh, it's I, I know people are like, oh, don't worry. But like, how do you not? <laughs> it's like, it's your future and stuff like that. Uh, at this point, I'm just trying to take every day, like, one step at a time. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, like, enjoy life as much as I can before something happens, you know? I'm spending time with family, you know, um, watching all the best shows, you know, eating all the best food, just, just loving life a lot, uh, making some videos, being happy and stuff like that, uh... But yeah, there, there's always this like looming danger, you know? Anyway, sorry for being dark and depressing, but uh, thank you for hearing me out. I, I, I wouldn't know what to do if I couldn't talk to you guys. Um, yeah, that's about it. Bye bye.